rural Indiana. If you've seen the movie Casino, you remember Joe Pesci's part. It was loosely based on the Spilatro brothers. The part in the cornfield where they killed him and I threw him in the hole in the cornfield. Well, that's where I'm at right now. Hopefully this is a cool one for the channel. I've been wanting to do this for years. And last year when Scott was here, we talked about doing it. So here it is. The day is here finally. After this, we're headed to Chicago. We're going to go out where everything went down. And we're going to check it out. We're going to check out the graves. And uh, let's go check it out, man. I'm walking right now, actually, down the tree line. Uh, they were killed in Bensonville, it was said. Nick Calabrese said that they were lured to a basement and they were killed there and they were brought here and then buried. But in the movie, they were killed here. But that's not how it went down. I'm gonna check it out. It's right up here along these trees. And uh, this is where it all happened, man. Man, look at these things, you guys. I think I'm at the spot right here, you guys. This is it. Let me double check real quick. We got photos of it from back when it happened. And I know there's a tree I can line up. And you can see that clearing is right there. And the grave is just, just on the other side of it. Right here, man, this is what happened, you guys. As you can see, there's nothing but cornfields all around. It was right here. <sighs> wow. You know, I've been wanting to come here for a long time, you guys. Finally got it. I'll show you the picture, if you can see it. In the cornfield. I'm gonna put it on the video anyway, so. We got Charlie out here droning it for us. Tall tree. That's the tall tree. So it's right here. Right here. Yeah. Right here. You saw those top kneeling down, and that's, that's the, the tree. That's the tree right there behind the top. They were paving a lot of the highway. Oh, yeah. So the rumor was that they were burying people as they were paving the highway. Really? So the mob was paying the construction guys because they. Yeah, they even you know, said they some of them, they used to bring them the U.S. Steel and Gary and throw them in the ladles with the molten steel to get rid of bodies. But they said a lot of the, because obviously the mob, well, Teamsters. Teamsters was part, and Teamsters is a lot of the ones who build the highway. Yeah. So they were all mob yeah. controlled. So. Heck what do yeah, they man. do when they're pouring concrete? Fucking throw the bodies in there. How, who's gonna find them? No wonder the roads are falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Voids in it, right? All right, guys. So there it is, man. This is the spot. Spotro Brothers buried right here, man. Now we're gonna head down to the next location. Make sure you guys watch for Scott's video coming out. Tiffy Smooth out here droning for us. Check out his pictures. He's on Instagram and all that. You guys, make sure you check it out. I know, man. Look at, all, look at my shoes, you guys. This guy got shorts on. Oh, there it is. Bing, bing. Inside. So now this is Willow Slough. Um, this is where Iupa's farm was back here. Joey Doves, Joey Iupa. Um, right down the street from the Spatchel Brothers were down there, about four or five miles down the road. 
but the car that they were transport out here was found about a half mile mile down this way find the exact location i'm gonna find a picture of the car online i'm gonna put it over this video right now and you guys see that look at the hawks flying around i mean we're out here in the middle we're in rural indiana I mean, it's not too far from where we live, but city boy like me, I don't make it out here too much, you know. But I'm glad we got Scott on tape in town, like I said. Got Diffy Smooth getting the drone footage for us. All the drone footage you can see in our videos, all from Charlie. Diffy Smooth. But that's where the farm was, right over here. Tony, Pascal, Pascal was the uh, father. Patrick Spalatro was the one that was a dentist. He was a brother that didn't get into the crime. I was wondering, because he lived till 2020. Yeah, there was only one of them. It, the rest of them were pretty much in the, in the, in the stuff, you know? Pascal, there's Michael, 86. Tony, 86. Antoinette, this mom. Victor's the other brother. So right here, guys, this used to be Patsy's restaurant. Squatchel's parents owned it. I, I assume it's named after Pascal. Pascal, I think how you pronounce it? Which was Tony's father. His mom and Antoinette worked here. They rubbed elbows with gangsters here. It's this building right here. 470 Ogden Avenue, North Ogden Avenue. Now it looks like it was a hair salon. Now it looks like it's for rent. Really cool mural right here. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this place. And I heard that uh, so a couple of the gangsters had, uh, they would have rooms up here. You know, who knows what for, you know what I mean? I mean, use your imagination. There it is, here's Chicago. Some old Chicago history for you guys. A really cool mural right here too. But off to the next location. See you guys there. There it is, you guys. Last place splotch holes we've seen alive. Michael Spalatro's house. Tony pulled up here, picked him up, take him to a meeting. Last time they were seen. Two days later, Michael's wife reported him missing. And next thing you know, they found the car. Two days later at the Bio Hair Airport at a hotel. They weren't no trace of them. And a few days later, they found him dead in the cornfield. But you guys have already seen that. Here it is. I'm gonna walk by it real quick and film. So yeah, Tony probably would pull up right here. Pick his brother up. Eleven oh two. Head off to the next location. Me and Scott on tape. Did you guys check out this video? Here. We're at the home of Sam Giancana. She was a big boss, Al Capone days, or after all, Al Capone. Uh, this is where he died. 
June 19th, 1975, a gunman entered the basement while Sam was cooking the sausages <laughs> and shot in the back of the head. It was suspected that the, uh, Tony Splotch was the one that did it. Nobody was ever penned for the murder, but this is where it happened. And this is Sam's old house. Let's check it out. It's part of the story. Last I heard it was up for sale. I, I think somebody bought it because I think somebody's living here now. So we can just kind of walk past it and take it in a little bit. I'm here with my buddy Scott, of course. We'll check out. Look at the awnings and stuff on it. Amazing. Basement the door would probably be right over there. Beautiful neighborhood. So they probably came in to that basement right there. Oh yeah, look at this house. The garage to match. It's back there. It's a beautiful home. Well, that's part of our splatchel story. Off to the next location. Right there. There it is. Okay, so Splotchel Brothers childhood home right here, you guys. This is where they grew up with their mom and dad. And uh, you know, went on to a life of crime. Whatever it was. So here it is. We get that and we got here. It looks like somebody lives here. They probably walked up and down these streets a million times. That's where they grew up. Hey, they probably ran down the street a million times. Yeah, riding their bikes and you never know. This is their stomping grounds right here, man. Beating up other kids. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Beating up sure, other kids. I sure I mean Tony seems like he had a temper. Oh man. You know? I he was a hothead, man. Yeah, like I mean that's that's not a learned behavior, I don't think. That's something that you're born with a, if you're that hot headed. And somebody that I was reading something like somebody else that knew them uh from back then, you know, uh they said what Joe Pesci played him in the movie. Times that by 20. That was Tony Splatro. Really? They said he was a Cause he's quick fuse. I mean, his character in a Casino is just... Ruthless. Ruthless. It's scary. Yeah, and they said times that by 20. Right. And then the end, like the scene where they get killed with the fuck in a Casino is, is scarier than any horror movie. <laughs> I you know, know. Like, for real. Like you watch yeah. horror movies and it's like that, cheesy man. and all that. Yeah. But when you see that casino, like the way it's done... Because it could be real. Yeah, and it's the sounds like so the, plausible, the, you know. The baseball bat, like ding, ding. Yeah, it's just <laughs> brutal. Yeah, so like they said, times that times twenty. They said the movie was watered down, Tony Spatro. So and Scorsese doesn't hold around. back. He's pretty like he'll put yeah. in the most brutal oh, thing. Yeah. So I mean, if it's watered down, I mean, just imagine. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Like you said, they probably ran around here beating up kids. Yeah. Might beat somebody up on this corner right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Give me that bike. <laughs> All these houses have been around since then. Yeah, for sure. So there it is, you guys. Splotchel's old neighborhood. This is where they grew up. This is where their parents live. Sam Stefano? Stefano yeah bad Sam we'll leave it at that this is was his house he died in this garage he was killed here shotgun crazy severed his left arm and then through his chest instantly killing him but took off his arm yeah he would kidnap people he will not people but a guy he kidnapped him and brought him here by gunpoint and forced him to have sex with his wife then let him go the guy went straight to the police and told the police so he can get charged with rape how can you prove it? My lunchbox is still in his car. And they found it in his car. But, and then the guy just stopped and told us about this house. He said that 
the lady that lived here, we talked to her before, and when she moved in, she found an ice pick in the gro- in the attic. Mm. Security and alarms in every room. Security alarms in every room. This dude was one of the craziest of the craziest. Oh, yeah. Not damn I sure. mean. Hey, if you take a look up there, Steve, take a look film about ooh. Is that old number. That looks like from That does look day. old, don't it? That's in there for years. I like it, that too. Mad Sam. Take a look up here where it says the number 16. That looks like it's been there for years. This car's really neat. It looks like a little Tony Spato car. It is. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He had a soundproof torture chamber in the basement. The guy said he didn't ask her about that. There's the basement. That is cool. Oh, that number is original, man. Wow. He said, right through here. Come on, get in here. I got some waiting for you. their funeral and uh, I'm gonna show you around real quick uh, yeah this is Tony Spatchel's funeral and his brother Michael they buried him next to each other in the cemetery which you see in the video but this is where they brought him and I'm gonna put a clip in in the video of the, the hearse backing into the garage doors over here backing inside with their bodies when they first brought him here the news was here it was huge so we're gonna walk around I'm gonna show you guys this real quick Pretty big funeral home. Looks really nice in there. It's huge. Actually, these doors right here is where you see them coming out, wheeling the coffins out and headed to the cemetery. So here's that. Inside here somewhere is where they held the funeral. And uh store they backed in and brought him in I'm gonna put that clip or a still shot of the clip in the video so you guys can see they're backing right into this right here with their their bodies brought them all right through those, those doors right there man it guys so this used to be Michael Splotro's uh, hoagie shop his restaurant so seen in a movie where he was spent on the cop sandwiches actually that wasn't in Vegas that was here this is his hoagie store uh, got a restaurant he would hoagie sandwiches you know I'm sure they were really good as long as you weren't a cop I'm gonna walk along now it's a soul food place well, this is it, man. Check it out. See if I can get a shot from this side. 